Nice! We found Alex! Whoever plays Minecraft, do you guys play with Steve or do you guys play with Alex? I love these clear orbies! Woo! We got a minion blind bag! Here are all the characters we can collect! It's Stuart, dressed as Vive Le Mignon! Give us something good, Frost Orbeez! Wow! Now this is a classic! I haven't seen this in a long time! Look at this Orbeez just hanging on! Drop it back in the bucket! Here's a Shopkin Season 1 basket! I haven't opened Season 1 in a long time, and the first character I get is Melanie Pips. She's an ultra rare. And here's Flava Ava. Do you guys like chocolate milk or regular milk? Time to check out the orange Orbeez. These look like some fashions. Yup. This is a Littlest Pet Shop one. Hmm, <laughs> what is this supposed to be? Ah, this looks like a porcupine. But his spikes aren't spiky at all. Pull his ears. So far, every time we do these surprise toys with the Orbeez Cups, we always find one toy that matches with the Orbeez. This little guy's having fun. Alright, let's move on to the yellow Orbeez. I think we got another Fash- Oh, actually, these are Mashems. We've actually seen these before. This is the Paw Patrol one. Say hi to Rocky! This one's not as squishy! Time for our last Orby surprise! Do you guys know who this is? He's one of the Fantastic Four members! Say hi to Thing! His name might be funny, but he's super strong! Well, this was a lot of fun! Thanks for watching! Please subscribe to watch more! See you soon! Also, if you haven't done so already, be sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter! The links are in the description box below! Hey everyone, Awesome Disney Toys here, and today we're bringing you Orbeez Swirling Whirl. It's my first time playing with the Orbeez set, so I'm hoping it'll be really fun. The side and back of the box pretty much show what we'll be doing today. Let's open the box to see what we find inside.
here's all the pieces to make the Swirling World Tower. Here's the instructions. This is an activity guide. And here are all the Orbeez. Each Orbeez packet comes with 150. I know the Orbeez look really small right now, but once we soak it in water, it'll absorb and grow bigger. We get a red Orbeez, a blue Orbeez, a purple Orbeez, a green Orbeez, and a yellow Orbeez. Let's pour the Orbeez into the bowl and soak them with water. I'll put the yellow and blue ones together. I'll put the red ones in another bowl. I'll put the green ones in it too. And we'll have a separate bowl for the purple one. So it says each packet requires one cup of water. So we'll put two cups of water into each of these bowls. And I'll put one cup of water in this one. Now let's assemble our set. You need to put three AAA batteries in the bottom of the lower dish. Unfortunately, the batteries don't come with this set, so you're gonna have to buy it on your own. And when you turn it on, it should light up like this. Thumbs up if you're excited! Now let's attach the elevator tube. And then you could place the elevator screw inside of the elevator tube. And then just attach the dish cover on top of the upper dish. And lastly, attach the four spiral tracks from top to bottom, like this. Here's how your Orbeez Swirling Whirl should look once you're finished assembling it. This looks really neat! Let's check on our Orbeez. This is about the hour mark. You can see that it's starting to grow. And here's how it looks at about two and a half hours. Our Orbeez are almost complete! And here it is in complete form! I already drained out the water. This took about 4 hours. Ooh, this is slimy! If you guys are familiar with boba, this is pretty much what it feels like. Let's test out the Swirling World Tower. I'll just use one Orbeez for now. 
Are you guys ready? This is really neat. Now let's throw a bunch of Orbeez down the slide. Whoa, that's awesome! Time to add some more! Super cool! What do you guys think of this set? And here it is in the dark. We have a Orbeez party. I can just watch this all day. Well, this was a lot of fun. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to watch more. See you soon. Hey everyone, awesome Disney Toys here, and we're gonna have another bath time party! We'll be playing with the Paw Patrol bath paints today. Let's take everything out of this box. Okay, here's our no roll paintbrush. It's the same one we get all the time, actually. Here's our paint palette. We get a background picture of the Paw Patrol gang. And it could hold up to three different paint colors at once. I think there's something in the back. Let me check. Yup! Awesome! That's actually pretty useful. We could attach this to the tub wall and hold our paintbrush. Woo -woo. Let's check out our bath paint colors. Marshall will be our red bath paint, which makes sense because he's the fire pup. And for the yellow bath paint, it's rubble. Since he's the construction dog, it's pretty fitting! For the blue bath paint, we have Chase. This also works since he's the police pup. And lastly, our green bath paint is Sky. This one's a little off because Sky's main color is pink, but no worries. It's still nice to have you here, Sky. Hey Marshall, I want to show everyone how the bath paint looks. Can you show us a sample of the red? Thank you very much. Ooh, that's a big sample. I'm pretty sure some of you are sick of hearing me saying this, but this is for the people who are tuning in for the first time. This bath paint is not paint. It's actually bath soap. So you can grab your paintbrush, create some body art, and then use a sponge and some water to wipe it off. But remember, I highly advise you not to draw on your face. You don't want any of the soap going in your eyes or your mouth. That's a no-no. I'm all about having fun, but you gotta be safe. Hey Sky, thanks for stopping by. If you don't mind, can we see some of the green paint? Woo -woo. Thank you very much. Since we already have red, yellow, blue, and green, let's use the paint palette to make some different colors. So I poured in some red and yellow, and once we mix this up, we should get... Orange! 
But every time I make this, it's a little bit more on the red side. Maybe the yellow's too light. I'll add some more yellow this time, and some blue. Mix it up. And I need your help! Blue and yellow make what? Green! This one too! Every time I make it, it turns into a little bit more of an aqua color. Not a big problem though. Okay, let's go with some blue again. And some red. Mix that together. One more time everyone! Red and blue make... PURPLE! This one actually always turns out pretty good. If you guys are doing this at home too, give the bath colors a mix and tell me if the colors come out differently for you guys. Hey Rubble! I think Rubble heard from the other characters from the bath time videos that he'd be getting wet today. So he came prepared. But that doesn't mean you won't be getting paint on yourself. Rubble will be painting Rubble. Sorry. Oh, looks like Chase heard the news too. He came in his flippers and his goggles. But sorry Chase, Chase just painted you. Hey Sky, thanks for flying in. Really sorry to do this to you, but I gotta put some paint on you. Oh look, it's Zuma. He's the water rescue dog, so I don't think he's gonna mind playing in the water today. Alright crew, you guys ready to get a little wet? Uh oh, I think Rubble, Chase, and Sky are getting a little restless. They don't really like to get in the water. Sorry! But I promised Ryder that I would give you guys a wash, so I have to keep that promise. He said you guys were starting to get real stinky. Rubble, no. Don't shake your fur. I will not have water splattered all over me. This will be over soon, I promise. You've been playing in the dirt for too long, so we gotta scrub it all off. Hey, hey! Moving your feet won't make this go any faster. Rubble really wants to leave. Ah, sorry Chase. It'll be over soon. We need to make sure you're nice and clean before you go solve your next case. Chase is doing the same thing as Rubble and trying to run away. Let's clean you up, Zuma. Zuma looks completely fine. He's always in the water, so... Oh, look at that. He wants to go back swimming. Sorry. Put you back in there. And now we gotta finish cleaning up one more member, and you guys will be good to go! Whoa! Sky tried flying away. Come on, Sky, we need to get you clean too. See? Isn't bath time fun, guys? I don't think the dogs like me right now. They'll thank me later. Well, this was a lot of fun. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to watch more. See you soon! Also, if you haven't done so already, be sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. The links are in the description box below. Hey everyone! Awesome Disney Toys here, and today we're bringing you Paw Patrol Chase's Cruiser from Ionix Jr. Blocks. Just to confirm, you can see the tag right here that says Paw Patrol Chase's Cruiser. Hey Chase, how you doing? You look really cool on that cruiser. Uh, uh, where are you going? Wait, Chase! Don't go anywhere! We need you to come back! I have to introduce you and the vehicle to everyone first! And you're about to ride off with this thing stuck to the bottom. Here's Chase! He's about to go to work, so he has his uniform on. Check out his cool Paw Patrol police hat. We could pretty much attach Chase to the vehicle or any other Ionix Jr. blocks. He fits perfectly right here. Okay, and now we can even open up this cruiser. Oh nice, we even get some accessories. We'll check this out later. This is pretty neat, we could hold a lot of blocks in here. Now let's take a closer look at Chase's cruiser. The wheels are pretty monstrous. This can probably run over anything. And on the top of the vehicle, we could place Chase over here and a few other accessories behind them. Now let's check out the front of the vehicle. 
Oh, what's this? Nice! This vehicle even comes with a tow cable. When you pull the cable out, it retracts on its own. Chase has a really nice car. Here are two green Ionix Junior blocks. We get a square one and a circle one. We could use our imagination to make anything we want with these. Here are some more pieces. This is Chase's pup pack. Here are two emergency cones. And we even get three brown blocks. Let's make something with this. Can you guys guess what I'm making? Yep, it's a tree. Sorry I made you stay so long, Chase. I know you gotta go to work, but before you go, you can't forget your pup pack. Let's get you onto your cruiser and you're good to go. Oh, one more thing. I'll put these emergency cones right behind you just in case. Keep our city safe! Woo! It's pretty windy right now! Even this giant tree is moving because of the wind! This does not look safe! Oh! Uh oh! The tree fell! This is looking pretty dangerous! Someone could get hurt! No need to worry, Chase is on the case. I'll need to put my pup pack on. Hmm, this doesn't look good. The first thing I gotta do is put emergency cones so that no one runs into it. One more. Good job! We secured the area! Now I'll use the tow cable from my cruiser to move the tree. Perfect! We did it guys! Now I just have to put the cones back in the cruiser. Yeah. Here comes another one. Remember guys, if you see any other trouble, Chase is on the case. Achoo! There's a lot of dust removing the tree. I gotta get going. Woo! Good job guys! We helped Chase move that tree today! What I really love about this set is that when you're done playing, you can place all the blocks into the storage in the cruiser. It's super convenient! Well, Chase and I are gonna go fight more crime. Thanks for helping us today! This was a lot of fun! Thanks for watching! Please subscribe to watch more! See you soon! Also, if you haven't done so already, be sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. The links are in the description box below. Hey everyone! Awesome Disney Toys here! And we got some more Paw Patrol for you guys! Here's an Imagine Ink mess-free gamebook. We have 24 pages of magic reveal games and activities. So let's get this started! But first, let me peel this off. Here is the most important item for this set. It is the Imagine Ink Marker. It's a blue cap, but the tip is white. And that's because this is mess free. So if you're messy like me, this marker is perfect for you because you won't leave a mess anywhere else. 
All right, so the first page, how this book works. Oh! Our first mystery has been solved. Only your imagining marker will reveal answers, clues, and images in this book. All right, everyone. You guys ready to solve some clues and get some answers? First, let's color in Chase. Oh, he's probably itching right now. Achoo! Sorry, Chase. Let's color in Ryder's hair. Oh, cool! Look at all the cool designs. They're all different. Rubble's got some sort of lightning sort of design. Ryder's hair is wavy. Okay, okay. Let's check out the second page. Ryder is the leader of Paw Patrol. What does he drive on land when he's not using it as a jet ski on the water? Hmm. Okay, so we'll color this picture to find out. The answer is below. Let's start right here, which I'm gonna take a wild guess and say it's the side mirror. Oh, we're starting to get something. Some polka dots. These look like some tire. Oh, they are tires. Some more tires. Keep them coming. We got some lights, a grill. Ooh, this vehicle looks pretty crazy. There's a number one. Let's color in Ryder's helmet. Ooh, a bunch of stars. Hmm. I wonder what this vehicle is. You guys know? Let's find out. It's an ATV! Now that is the coolest ATV I've ever seen. See you later, Ryder. All right. Rubble is looking for another bone to match the one he has dug up. Color in the bones below to help him search. Do you see the bone Rubble is looking for? So it's got some star sparkles and some circles. Whoa, whoa, where's my hand going? That's not a bone. Ooh, but we did find some more designs. Check out his pup pack design. And if we color him some more. Wow, Rubble, you got a lot of freckles. Okay, back to the mission. Let's find a bone that looks just like this. We have six bones to choose from. Let's start with one. Oh, there are dots here, but no, that's not it. Let's go with number two. Mmm, this looks nothing like that bone. Number three. Mmm, they don't look like star sparkles. That's not it. What about six? Oh, we got stars, but not quite. All right, number five. Oh, ding, 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 ding. I think we found it. Let's double check. Okay. Mm-hmm. These bones look the same to me. Number five is the winner. Let's just see what number four looks like. Oh, that's pretty cool too. But that is definitely not our bone. And just to be 100% sure, let's find out the answer. Yep, it's number five. Let's go to our next activity. Follow the path of circle shapes to help get Skides to look out the home and the headquarters of the Paw Patrol. So we just follow the circles, eh? Seems pretty easy. Let's fill out the first circle. Keep going straight. Keep going straight. And we're going down. Let's color down. Color down again. Doo -doo 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 -doo. We're going home. All right, let's go left, Sky. We're going left. And we're going left again. We're going left. Left again. What is it now? Oh, we're going down again. Let's fly down. Fly down some more. Oh, and we are flying right now. Come on, Sky, we're almost home. Let's go down. Make a right. And then we get up. A paw. We are finished. Wow, we're home. Let's color the lookout. A bunch of dots. Whoa, did not expect that. Let's color Sky. Got some dots for her too. Oh, and some hearts. Uh, our last activity sort of bled through. Whoops. 
Okay, so Chase is the German Shepherd police pup and a natural leader. What he drives has a very loud megaphone. Color the picture to find out what it is. Well, let's color your hat first. And then your ears. Sorry, Chase. I know you don't like things that make you sneeze. And I'm sure this marker's not helping right now. But we are done coloring you in. All right, let's find out what he's driving. Okay, can't really tell right now. Oh, we got a grill, a headlight, some tires. Whoa, this thing looks pretty. Wow, Chase, you drive a pretty cool truck. It almost looks like a tank. <laughs> if you guys are a fan of Paw Patrols, then I'm pretty sure you guys know what this truck is already. But for people who don't know, let's find out the answer. It's his police truck. High five if you got it right. Woof! There's still a lot of activities we could do in this book. Check out all the pages we didn't do today. If you guys like this and you guys want to see more, just give this video a thumbs up. Well, this was a lot of fun. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to watch more. See you soon. Also, if you haven't done so already, be sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. The links are in the description box below. Hey everyone! Awesome Disney Toys here! And we're back again with the Paw Patrol Imagining Mess Free Gamebook! It was so much fun last time! So we had to bring it back just to recap how this book works. Only your Imagining Marker will reveal answers, clues, and images in this book. So if you're the type who gets pretty messy with crayons or markers, don't worry about this one. The colors will only appear in this Mess Free Gamebook. You color in the images, and the Imagining Marker will turn them blue, and we get different patterns and designs. By the way, if you guys missed the first part and want to catch up, be sure to click the eye on the top right corner. But for those who are already caught up, let me take out my Imagining Marker, and we'll keep going. All right, move past this page. Ah, here it is. Can you spot which picture of Marshall is different? Okay, seems pretty simple. Let's color in Marshall. Here are some dots, a star. We got some dots. And his shirt has checkers. Okay, let's move on to B. He's got some checkers. And the board's got some dots. A and B look similar to me. Let's move on to the letter D. Mm -hmm. The shirt's got some checkers. So, C must be different. Let's find out. Woo! All right, the helmet's different, the shirt's different, and the board's different. I think we got a winner. And let's go to the bottom right corner and see if C's correct. But this is a no-brainer. Yep. Let's move on. Help Chase, Rubble, and Marshall surf over to Zuma. Color in the letters that spell S-U-R-F. I think we could do that. S-U-R-F. Let's go down. S-U, make a left. R-F. Let's keep going left. S-U, let's go up. And make another left. Let's go down. I like how all the designs are different. And we'll make the F. Let's go right. Right. Move down. Fill in one more F. And we're finished. Hey, what's up, Zuma? Let's see what kind of design Zuma has. Nice. Let's see what's next. Rubble is a tough, gruff construction bulldog with the heart of gold. There's no job Rubble can't scoop up in his vehicle. Color the picture to find out what it is. Well, we'll color in Rubble first. Hey, he's got some polka dots around his eye. Let's work on the vehicle. Can't really tell what it is right now. Ooh, this looks pretty heavy duty. He's got quite a big shovel. And what do you guys think this is? I'm gonna say construction something. 
construction. Nice. Digger. Of course, because that shovel is huge. On to the next one. Ryder needs help fixing a part inside of his ATV, but which one? Color the frame below to reveal the three traits that the part has. Then color the shapes below to find which part has those traits. Is everyone ready for this? Let's color in the frame to find the three traits. Dot pattern, square outside, and star inside. Okay, let's start by eliminating some of these letters. Since it's a square outside, we don't need B, E, or F. Oh, that's a dot, but no star inside. No dot there. So the letter D. Dot pattern with the star inside. I think we have our winner. Ding, 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 ding. But you never know. <laughs> Just kidding. The answer is D. Follow the maze. Which new friends will Everest meet along the way? All right, Everest, you ready? Let's start filling it up. Do -do 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 -do. Hey, what's up, Marshall? I think we're supposed to, yep. We gotta keep going this way. And, hey, what's up, Sky? She wants us to keep going down. Do -do 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 -do. Zuma, what's up? Let's go right. You made it! No, we made it! Let me just color this in some more so we can see it clearly. There's Ryder and a few other Paw Patrol members greeting us. Let's keep going. Sky is a fearless cockapoo who loves to fly. What does she fly when she's not using the wings in her pup pack? Color the picture to find out what it is. Let's color in Sky first. Ooh, nice ear designs. Let's color in the wings. So it looks like she's got two blades up on top. And let's color in some more to see what we're working with. Does anyone have a clue what it is yet? I think I have an idea. It starts the letter H. I could be wrong though. Right now, pause the video and write in the comments what you think this is. Let's check the answer. A helicopter! If you guys wrote a helicopter, high five! Whoop whoop! We crushed it today! If you guys want more, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Well, this was a lot of fun. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to watch more. See you soon. Also, if you haven't done so already, be sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. The links are in the description box below. Hey everyone, Awesome Disney Toys here, and today we're bringing you three Paw Patrol Action Pack Pup and Badge figures. We'll be opening up Marshall's Firefight and Truck, Chase's Cruiser, and Rubble's Diggin' Bulldozer. Give a thumbs up if you love Paw Patrol. Let's start off by opening up Chase's Cruiser. Chase is a German Shepherd and he's a police pup. So of course he'd be riding this cool cruiser. There's the Paw Patrol badge. The side of the cruiser also comes with some pretty cool stickers. And the wheels also move. Chase uses this cruiser and his microphone to lead the Paw Patrol pack when they go on missions. This set also comes with two cones. We could stack it on the back of the cruiser. And here's the leader of the Paw Patrols, Chase. He has his Paw Patrol logo on and his Paw Patrol badge. He's also wearing his pup pack. You can move all four of his legs. His tail's pretty soft too, so you can move that around as well. You can also move his neck. And here's a closer look at his pup pack. Chase is on the case. He just got a call for help, so he'll be right back.
That was quick. He has one more mission to go on. Now that Chase is free, he's gonna place down his cones and practice his driving skills. He's pretty good. Now let's open up Rubble. Rubble's specialty is construction, so of course he'd be driving the dig and bulldozer. There's no job Rubble's construction digger can't scoop, so he's pretty reliable. Rubble's also an English bulldog, so he's very skilled at digging. And here's the dig and bulldozer. The front has a movable scooper. The wheel's on this move too, but it's not as great as Chase's cruiser. And Rubble also has a drilling tool in the back. If this wasn't a bulldozing truck, you'd think this was a scorpion. And here's our English Bulldog, Rubble. Here's his pup pack with all of his construction tools. He has a wrench and a hammer. You can also move his neck and you can move all four of his legs as well. But you can't really move his tail. Let's dig it! Rubble is now ready to go on his mission. Rubble on the double. He just got word that he needs to scoop up two orange cones. Now that he's scooped it up, that's one less trouble. Hey Rubble, my cruiser shut down. I'm out of gas. You think you can give me a lift? Sure, get on my scooper. Rubble, can't you drive straight? I'm getting dizzy. Sorry. Now let's open up our clumsy Dalmatian, Marshall. Marshall's the fire pup. So he's driving the firefighting truck. He may be clumsy, 